Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow in WordPress using the plugin Elementor. Let's get started. So this is my slideshow I'm using on my website and I do have two slideshows actually running through this, the background and a foreground image. So I'm just gonna show you the basic setup here. I have a section created and under style, I have chosen this last icon for background type, which has slideshow. And here you can add whatever images to your slideshow from your media library or uploaded. And then for the background of this column on an intersection, I'm doing the same thing in the background. And beneath that, you can see some other settings, whether it loops, the duration and transition types. So let's start on a new page and edit with Elementor. And I'm just going to click on this plus sign to add a new section. You can choose whether or not it has columns. Since we don't have anything in the container yet to give it a height, I would give it a minimum height either in pixels or vertical height for the screen. Let's just do 600 pixels. And you can add intersections to this, any other modules such as text or sections of content. So here in the main section, go to Style background type, slideshow, and select images. So I just selected three images here and click insert gallery. You can also drag and reorder these. And I'm just gonna use these native settings. You can choose whether it has a Ken Burns effect or lazy load. You could do any other options within Elementor for these other settings. Within columns, I'm gonna add another column just so you can see when I add a secondary image in the foreground. So to do that, I'm going to just click on that column and within style, choose slideshow again. And in this instance, I don't want a foreground image on every slide. So I've created spacer images and you will need to create more than one spacer to select that as multiple image types. So these are just blank images as placeholders. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reverse which column this order so the image is on the left. And I do need to set a minimum height value because the image is being cropped. So in this case, we may want to add a spacer within the column. So drag that element and then increase the space. And then you can choose on the column itself, the background size. And depending on the loading of the image, you may want to change the duration to be slightly different. You may have to just look at how those load and synchronize. I hope this video helps you in creating a slideshow for your next WordPress project. Thanks for watching and see you next time.